Bring your attention to the planet that's underneath your feet and project your consciousness into the ground, so to speak. Feel into the earth. You're not limited to your body. In fact, your body is limited to you. So you can be aware of whatever you choose to project your consciousness into. So shoot, shoot yourself down, so to speak, into the very earth that's right here that your body is resting on. And let that awareness expand. Get a sense of the aliveness of the planet. Get a sense of the fact that Earth is a being. Earth is the body, the vehicle of a being just like your body is a vehicle for your being. When I respect your body, I respect you. When you respect and love the Earth, you respect and love the being. So go deeper and wider, farther, and get a sense of the scope of this planet. Visualize spreading out and flying over in all directions simultaneously. All the different landscapes and oceans and surface textures and inner earth textures that you can imagine. And now extend that to humanity as an inseparable part of this planet. And try to get a sense of the scope of all those billions of people buzzing around, living their day-to-day -day lives, from all the Western civilizations with their jobs and their cars and their homes, to the natives and the third world people that are living as they do, to societies in the forested mountainous areas that very few people know about, to the people high up in the mountains, and go through all the cultures quickly, see the extent, the scope, the mind-boggling scope of Project Planet Earth. And imagine how many lives that are each just like yours in terms of validity, value, preciousness, seeking for love and respect and acknowledgement and support. Take the entirety of your own life, the richness, the story of it, and multiply that by seven billion. And try to imagine, again, the scope of Project Planet Earth. The massive amounts of billions of parallel realities per life times thousands of millions. Each, each of these as huge as your own story. Each of these as precious and fragile and potent as your own story, as your own life each of them as valuable, as valid, as deserving as your own. Get a sense of what I often call the collective, the collective consciousness of our people. Now imagine that each of these thousands of millions of yous each have multiple non-physical guides that are with them get a scope of that, the sense of the scope of that. Now imagine hundreds of extraterrestrial races, races from all densities being fascinated, being interested, being engaged, being somehow involved, sometimes even genetically tied, sometimes energetically or what you would call karmically tied in a way. There's hundreds of millions of these. Imagine all the games being played, all the politics in all of these levels of beings and get a sense of the scope of Project Planet Earth. And also try to get a sense of the urgency for support, for help, for renewal, for reinventing, for love, for clarity, for education, for understanding, for the right tools the right definitions, the right context, the right understanding. Feel the calling 
of those that are sometimes termed unconscious, those that do not know, yet deep within their hearts there is a cry for help. There is a cry for guidance. There is a craving for light, a strong desire to know that all is well, that they are safe, that they are loved, that they are worthy. Try to get a scope of the vibration that this collective calling sends out into this galaxy and beyond. Realize that you are not the only person on this planet, believe it or not. There's others just like you that are in much more need of clarity than you may think you are. There's others that are on a spiritual journey. Realize this, feel this, extend your horizons, expand your bubble, include more of your brothers and sisters, for we are one people. We are connected. You are not alone on this world. Feel the cry for help, the cry for love. The scope of this calling is indescribable, unfathomable, which is one of the reasons why many beings are interested in being here at this time, especially those in the higher densities, as they are drawn to this calling, as they are on their own journey to perfect their service to all, as they understand the, the union that connects all beings in this galaxy, and they understand that they can fill in some of the blind spots that we have with clarity, with information. Try to imagine a million, a million beings just like you as large as your life, as comprehensive, as complex, as detailed, as intricate, as valuable as your entire life. Imagine that a million times. Now imagine that group 1,000 times. Each and every point as valuable, as complex, as large as your own story. Now imagine that group. Multiply that by seven and feel that the calling of each of these seven billion beings is at least as desperate as your own is or once was. And realize that the 200 people in this room and the thousand or so people total watching this life and the thousands and thousands more that will watch this after feel what it means to be privileged. Realize that being here in this room shows you a how worthy you are, how far you have come, how capable you are, and how called into service you are. We are short on personnel. We cannot afford to be selfish or lazy or complacent or tolerant of those things that don't help us to become more crystallized in our strength, our power, our clarity, and our desire to be of service. You are needed. It is not optional. If you wish to, in a sense, see humanity survive itself, its own unconsciousness, its own delusion, then the job is not an offer. It is required. If you truly realize that all beings are yourself, there's no question. And just realize that whatever sense you have of that calling at present, using your imagination, you have no idea. You have no idea as to the scope of Project Planet Suffer, Project Planet Transform, Project Planet Reach for the Light. The scope is mind-boggling. It completely disintegrates me every time I even turn into it for longer than two seconds. That's why I generally avoid it. Because not much happens the rest of the day. But it is important to remind yourself, at least once a month, if not more frequently, of the astounding scope of this calling for help. 
and the non-physical entities and the ETs can only do so much without infringing upon free will. They can only offer from the outside in. They are not allowed, according to their own ethics, according to their own integrity, to infringe. That's where we come in. Not that we have the right to infringe, but we are, are equal to those of this earth. So we can show up in bolder ways. We can make statements that are more expressive, that are more to the point. We are the ones, as human beings, that are called to facilitate this transformation, this change. So search your heart, deeply, profoundly, at least once a month, and let it course correct you to follow your heart without any hesitation. Because the longer you postpone following your heart and act acting on your excitement, the longer you postpone that, the bigger the chances of not living an optimal collective experience. But if you follow your heart every day and if you let go of your inhibitions, of your arrogance to believe that you are not capable, that you are not worthy, that you are not supported, while you are swimming in such an obvious universe of bliss, love, abundance and consciousness, if you can let go of those doubts and inhibitions and rise to the occasion of this calling, for which many of you were literally born, so might as well make use of it, now that you've crawled your way through the uterus, might as well use the opportunity to be of service, to find deep, profound joy in loving your fellow humans. So feel great love for planet Earth. Feel great love for everyone and where they are at. And be that guiding light, be that eye of the hurricane. Many more, many more will be shocked into awakeness and they will look for resources such as you can offer. So be ready, be available, be of service, be fearless. Now is the time. Be ahead of your fellow human beings so that you can be of service when they realize they need to take some leaps unexpectedly. You saw this coming. You initiated your search, or most of you at least. But many will be suddenly, and I'm talking hundreds of millions, if not the entire civilization, will be shocked into seeking for answers. Be ready. Be the platform that is able to facilitate that level of confusion, seeking for new truths, seeking for clarity, seeking for love, seeking for answers, seeking for guidance, seeking for a new way to live. It will be a great sequence of events that will wake people up to the fact that, that things have to change that they have to change and that things have not been as they have been told. And the most important need at that time is the love and the clarity and the bravery and the courage that you have to offer by stepping into the light, stepping it up in your own life. Put yourself out there in whatever way you can. Connect, network, share, offer, be the example of, model in whatever way you can with that smile, that unaffected smile always available to you even when you're moved to tears and offer yourself, ever more offer yourself until there's nothing left of you and you will taste perfection you will taste union of people you will taste true love and you will live without conditions in every aspect of your life.